This video is going to be about how to control what icons show up on your little control panel here on your Lexmark device. Um, of course, uh, by being able to turn those icons on and off are going to control the functionality that's actually uh, available on your Lexmark device. So the first thing I'm going to do though is go ahead down here and open up the remote control panel. So uh, this allows us to see the control panel of the Lexmark device uh, just like we were standing in front of it. Um, so what I'm talking about is turning off this email icon so people couldn't email or turning off this form and favorites or scan the network icon um, and that's what we're going to go through. So I'm going to minimize this back down. The first area which there are basically three areas that can control what icons show up. The very first area is under settings and um, general settings and home screen customization. Now all these um, icons here are basic standard applications that come on the machine. Um, and so here on the, on the uh, control panel you're going to be able to see copy, fax, email, and all their shortcuts if someone has actually typed a shortcut in. Um, on FTP and FTP shortcuts you notice those are not going to show up because they're unchecked and then right down the line. So this this is a place to look or to disable or enable um, the applications that are going to be running on the machine and that's the first place you could look. Now the other place is settings and then under apps and I will say on the older devices, uh, older Lexmark devices like the 7 or the 658, excuse me, it says embedded solutions instead of apps, but it's basically the same place. When you click on this um, and then apps management and the embedded solutions are going to go directly to this window here, it shows you all the apps that have been loaded on this um, device. So all these icons are going to show up on the device if they have been enabled or if they're running. You notice here all these are there, there's disabled so all these are running. If you click disable then this host of testing grading icons would actually disappear uh, and then there would be an enable button here that would allow you to enable it, enable it and then the icons would come back. Same with cloud print, card copy, my shortcut, forms and favorites are all, all the same would happen. Now um, the uh, one other thing I'll mention about the scan to network a uh, scan to network doesn't show up um, if in fact there is no, if you click on this, if there's no links in here, there's no destinations for scanning, it won't show up either. It's a little tidbit of information if you're scanning to a folder in your network that that could be another possibility why the scan to folder is not showing up if you don't have any links in here. So those are the two places where you can look and turn things on and off. Um, now there is one other setting under security that controls everything on the device and uh, security wise you can completely disable the app and even if you have it turned on in one of those other areas we're just looking at it would keep it from showing up if you went into security and disabled it so if you click on security link and then security setup then you have a access controls link right down here and if you look in the access controls area um, you have all these on the older devices this shows up automatically uh, all the different things you can turn on and off but here you have to actually click on the folders uh, to actually see everything but if you notice in here uh, all this stuff has no security but I could come down here in um, in the function access and if I turned off email function, copy function, so I could effectively in this in this uh, MFP I could uh, turn the copy on to disable and then the copy button would would be gone and you couldn't copy with this multifunction device or any other thing listed here whether it's the flash drive uh, print or scan or a uh, fax option, fax function can be disabled, it is on this one uh, so um, that would be one other place you would look if you uh, the other two areas you have the button turned on and it should be showing up but it's not showing up you might want to come back to this security area 
and uh, and check in here to see that it's not been disabled in here. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope this has been informative to you and thank you for viewing.